seven million killed. Do you feel that number? This Holocaust Remembrance Day, members of Champaign-Urbana's Jewish community are not only urging people to feel that number, but never forget it. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jessica Coons. 76 years ago today, the Auschwitz concentration camp was liberated by the Red Army. Hillel at U of I hosted a Holocaust Remembrance Day observance over Zoom. Central Illinois descendants of survivors shared their family stories. The goal was to show a living connection to the stories of the Holocaust. This comes as new surveys show nearly a quarter of young adults believe the Holocaust did not happen or was exaggerated despite its documentation. High school freshman Max Libman created two films about his great-grandmother's experience and is working to educate his generation about the atrocities of the Holocaust. As we have seen, the Holocaust does not start with mass murder. It starts with name-calling, separating groups, and the rise in hate. Lemon says he feels a responsibility to share her story so history does not repeat itself. Meanwhile, some people are once again on edge after neo-Nazi stickers were found in downtown Champaign. WCI3's Jen Last joins us now. Jen, this is not the first time this has happened recently. No, it's not, Jessica. And the discovery of hateful stickers and pamphlets, the use of Nazi imagery and rhetoric this past year, all drive home the importance of never forgetting the Holocaust. Uh, white supremacy should be should not be an American thing. It's not an American value. It's not it's not an American soul. On a day meant to honor millions killed in the Holocaust, Hillel director Erez Cohen is also responding to the discovery of neo-Nazi stickers in Champagne. It underscores the urgency of the words "never again." It's very it's very um, difficult to see these stickers around town, but we must always remember that our community is a lot larger than the one or two people that are trying to spread hate around town. But unfortunately, that's just a, you know, they're, they're persistent, um, so you just have to be persistent in fighting them. Champaign County Mike Ingram says it's frustrating that hateful signs are becoming routine. Less than two weeks ago, people woke up in Champaign and Urbana to flyers saying, quote, no white guilt. You would think that we would be past that point. Unfortunately, human nature doesn't really allow it. Um, you know, we still have Holocaust deniers. That still is a subset of people that exist, um, which is ridiculous. And just a few weeks ago, Congresswoman Mary Miller said this at a Moms for America rally in D.C. Hitler was right on one thing. He said, whoever has the youth has the future. She later apologized after swift condemnation from members of both parties. I want to be uh, frank and say that we invited uh, several elected officials to, to join today's event. And part of it was as a result of, of the comments. It made us realize that we should be doing a better job reaching out to elected officials and sharing our history and our values with them. Congresswoman Miller, Congressman Rodney Davis, and State Senator Scott Bennett were all signed on for today's observance. Cohen says he sees this as a step forward for people in our communities trying to understand each other a little bit better. Now, Jess, as for Ingram, he says if you see hateful signs and need help removing them, he wants people to reach out to him and he'll go ahead and take care of that. And hopefully no more are found. Exactly. All right, Jen, thank you.